welcome back to Y254 TV. Thank you for still keeping it here at Y in the morning. You're yeah, just from having that discussion with Stephanie. Nimesikia kusema mtu anamuita Miss Sayeta. He? Tumonge juu ya harusi hivyo sana mpaka mkaona mbandike ya Steph Mrs. Okay, Steph. Sawa, I have succeeded in selling Steph. Someone has already uh, joined me in my efforts to sell her. They have already called her Mrs. That person I'm buying you soda on my bill. Yeah, but far away from Steph and me selling her. We are on WCW. And of course, nilikombo suzo wange kila siku, tunakupea the same thing. Tukitoka hapa, tunaenda hapa, tukingi hapa, tunaenda hivi, umezo yanga kuwana wa 250. No, siku mwadi utapindu kwa jipate hapa, unajua we are going to the AI, what do we call it? We are going to, we are moving to the AI world. So maybe siku mwadi niko na karobot, kana nifanana, alafu kame kapa, kana wange lasha. You can never be sure. Hata maybe this is not real me. You can never be sure. Anyway, I don't want to keep scaring you. This is WCW and today we are asking you on our social media handle, we are asking you, Jay, how do you express fashion? How do you use fashion to express your confidence? How do you use fashion to express your confidence? I'm joined by a panelist. Uh, you know Mimi, ni 50 people in one. So, ukituona tukiwa wawili, usulize watatu wa kwa api, tuko tu hivo. We are 50 people in one. Do not worry. But let me introduce my panelist, Karibu Sana. Hi, thank you. Let me give you an opportunity to introduce yourself. Okay, my name is Munyoli Mwende, owner and founder of Shock Two Stones, which is a faith-based uh, fashion brand that aims to promote wholeness and healing to any person that wears our clothing. Urojo mispendi watu wa fashion sana wakinkaribia, especially siku nyana juwa ni mevaya vitu zinezuna nifanana. You look really pretty. Hey, pretty. Pretty is an an... We? Is it an understatement? Kwa angalia hivyo anasema, sasa hikyo ki shadow kilipakuwa na nani. Alafu hizo vya atundia liona zuda match na hiyo maroon dress. Okay, and I fear people that are into fashion. You look nice. Thank you. So Sidri, to anze wa pay discussion, feel free to air your opinions. Okay, okay. Uh, this is WCW where we just do a banter. It's okay. just woman crush Wednesday. Wednesday. Nothing, nothing complicated. Okay. So, mm -hmm. I don't know where I want to start. Okay. Do I start by asking what fashion really is? Mm -hmm. Or let's start there. Okay. So, fashion is really broad. And it's a means of expressing oneself through clothes. And over and above expressing oneself, fashion is also a symbol of a person's identity. It's tied to your personal values, your social norms, culture. It can be anything, but it's a form exp of expressing oneself through clothes. So, wh wh how far or, uh, or rather how wide does fashion cut? Is it just clothes? Is it shoes? Is it hair? Is it makeup? How far is far when it comes to fashion? Okay. It cuts across clothing accessories it can be shoes because you can't pick an outfit and not know what to accentuate with it for example if you're going to show up in like a blue dress you have to uh, put into thought what accessories you're going to wear with them what shoes you're going to put on so it's a lot of things that culminate into this one thing but yes it's from clothes to shoes to accessories and how you accentuate your whole look Hey, sasa kusha tuambia accentuate your whole look. I have started overthinking. <laughs> Don't overthink. Where does, um, mm -hmm. where does mm -hmm. color come in? You know, sasa umosama how you pair yeah, up yeah. your shoes, yeah, your, your, I'm trying to get the whole yeah, thing. Mimi, yeah. by and fashion, we are two worlds apart. Mbora ni meva nguwa ito ke ni inaka vizuri wataniende kwenye naenda. Mbora ni pata ni meva ya rings kubwa ni meva nguwa ziko shouting and then niko like wow I want to be all over. So when you say by how you accentuate your look what do you mean? Okay one first of all like the whole psychology of Kyla is something you can you can play with. For example, but now you'd have to know, like color is very intricate when it comes to your skin tone, your undertone, or what mood you'd want to convey. For example, if like someone who has like cool, a cool undertone, uh, 
Ngocha tu. Let me cut you short. By the way, please allow me to do it. This is fine. at least I know this it's is WCW where mm -hmm. I'm not really constrained mm -hmm. on, on the taratara ya conversation. Okay, okay. So, just allow me to be cutting you a bit short. Wakati okay. penye nasikia ni kama kuna kitu umesema pia mimi ni kwa like, huh, what's that? What's that? So, what's an undertone and what's the other one? Meita Ajay? There's something you, you've called, then Kasema undertone. Undertones and I can't so remember So, what's an undertone? Okay, an undertone, basically how you'd know your undertone is by looking at your veins. People who have a, the blue undertones, basically those ones are, like if you looked at your hand and you see your, like your vein, the color of your veins, mm -hmm. if you have like bluish ones, you're more of a cool undertone. But for people who have like yellowish, uh, and uh, veins uh, that would fall under the warm undertones. So, Mimi, yeah. you are green. <laughs> you, you'd fall under a warm undertone. Okay. Yeah, so undertones are very, like they're big, a big determinant on how a particular color would look on you. Yeah. Ah, yes, so yes. if I want to know, mm -hmm. uh, Mimi, ni color. Mm -hmm. You've said I'm warm yeah, yeah. undertone. Yeah. You just check someone's vein. Yeah, you just look at the veins. So when yeah. you're blue, they have cool undertone. A cool undertone. Yeah, yeah. And then when you're gonna green like me, they you have know, warm, warm, warm undertone. Warm undertone. Yeah. Uki, uki angalia, you've seen Steph. What does Steph look like? <laughs> She's more of a cool undertone. So what do you mean by warm and cool? What colors suit those? those okay, so for cool across? undertones, you'd wear the reds, the blues, the green, like a lot of popping colors, the hot pinks. That's yeah. skiza. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> yes, the blues, the hot pinks, like a lot of popping colors. But for someone who has like a warm undertone, you'd easily look better in earth, earth tones and a lot of pastel colors. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Okay, so someone for someone like me, mm -hmm. pastel those beige, mm -hmm. yes, nudes, yes, 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 yes. Uh, if I got that yeah, right, yeah, even reds, even yeah, red, yeah, for warm undertones, yeah. So, yes, okay, you're well dressed, <laughs> <laughs> at least, where okay. So, mm -hmm. um, what's the first thing that comes to mm -hmm. your mind mm -hmm. when you start talking about fashion? For me, I feel like Fashion, like the first thing that comes to mind when I think of fashion is identity. Yes. A lot of times if you walked into a room and just by how you're dressed, someone is able to look at you and already have like a first impression about you just by what you're wearing. So for me, what comes to mind is identity. Yeah. Like fashion is a silent conversation with the world. Just by how you're dressed and what you choose to wear, you're already having a conversation with the world. Wow. Yes. Okay. As a person, yes. Uh, what would you describe your fashion sense as? <laughs> I love the way you looked at yourself. Okay, okay. I think I wear a lot of wide legged stuff. I feel like I look much better in them. Mm -hmm. And I love color from how I have tried to color block this whole outfit. I really love color. I love color and also modesty. Yes, because my brand is really big on promoting modesty. Yes. Amazing. Yes. What made you venture into the fashion world? Oh, wow, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was coming. Oh, wow. So I, I have a background in finance. I did a bachelor's degree in finance. I graduated in 2019. And just about the time I was getting finished, I get an instruction from God to pursue fashion. And I had never had an interest in fashion before. So yeah, okay. I was like, OK, this is interesting. Yeah, so the first time, so after I heard that in 2019, uh, I went ahead to get a manual machine and just learn off YouTube. But fast forward in 2021, got again on my case. He was like, there are no shortcuts, so go and enro enroll in a school and build your craft. Wow. Yeah. So how was, how was the transition between now? Mm -hmm. This is me wanting the story side. Okay, and, okay. and I know you're supposed to talk about fashion, yeah. but let me digress yeah. a bit. Okay. How was it for you mm -hmm. as as a finance major moving all the way to something fashion. fashion i hope my parents are not watching this <laughs> because i had never had any interest in in finance oh, wow. i feel like i caught on finance in like my third and fourth year so it wasn't so much of a shift mm -hmm. uh, to to delve into the world of fashion yeah okay yeah. so how's the growth path been 
So uh, after, after, after I started going into fashion, at first I was actually doing it as a side gig. But around 2021, 2022, I decided to like now. No, I've, I feel like I've actually felt more convinced to go into fashion fully uh, this year in April and stop like pursuing because I was doing it as a side gig. So I felt like in around April when I launched, I launched a ready to wear fashion line called Manukato. So that's when I decided to like go fully into fashion. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But like all along, I feel like I was looking for a job because you feel like with fashion before you grow it's not able to to hold water it's not able to yeah like sustain you financially so i was always looking for the next job so yeah this year i decided to like fully go into it and now not do it as a side gig but as a full-time thing okay so what what kind of um mm -hmm. i don't know if the genres mm -hmm. in, in you see the way we say mm -hmm. i have specialized in this mm -hmm. even in modeling yeah, is yeah. a specialty yeah, someone yeah. takes mm -hmm. is there a specific um area of fashion that you have decided to specialize in or is there specific uh, or you've just decided to go general how are you doing it i have decided to go general because i feel like to say i am doing a particular thing would be to put myself in a box so I have decided to pursue everything. If it's haute couture, I can do that. If it's African wear, basically everything, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you, um, mm -hmm. now I don't know how to ask this mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's a personal, mm -hmm. people, especially women, mm -hmm. now that we are talking about women, yeah. um, women are not very confident to talk about weight. Yeah. And weight is something very, mm -hmm key mm -hmm. rather for me mm -hmm. i tend to think that weight plays quite the role mm -hmm. in terms of fashion, fashion yeah. so how how do i ask this mm -hmm. anyway okay how do you how you my lord say <laughs> i didn't know that weight issues were that difficult to ask personally i don't have a problem with weight okay. issues okay. I okay. no, no, many, come, no, no, i am okay like the, I'm, i don't take it personal yeah, yeah. but mm -hmm. is there particular because now we are talking about confidence fashion mm -hmm. uh, yeah. because that's the question yeah, we're yeah, asking people yeah, yeah. how do you use fashion mm -hmm. to uh, express, express your confidence, your confidence. Yeah. now mm -hmm. there is the area when we talk about fashion and confidence yeah. weight yeah, plays yeah, a very big issue. role in a woman's uh, perception mm -hmm. of confidence yeah. um, when you encounter people with different body shapes mm -hmm. what's the first conversation you have with them concerning fashion one just know your body type, know what will go well with your body, and basically look for pieces that fit well and that accentuate the parts you'd want accentuated. For example, like there are different body types. We have the inverted triangle, we have the pear shape, we have an hourglass. So just know, like for example, someone who has like an inverted body shape, it means that they are broader. Yes, they look yeah, like this way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you're likely to look for clothes and outfits that would focus on your your upper body so that when someone looks at you they are not staring at oh okay why is this part narrower but like the places i, I am almost mentioning <laughs> a group of people <laughs> let me keep it low okay. but anyway yeah, yeah. so that's for that yes that's for, for the pear shape for the pear shaped it's you you have like, like a small, like a upper, small body. upper body then wider uh -huh. towards the bottom so you'd want to wear clothes that accentuate your your lower body from like the waist down you know oh she has a nice waist oh she is really okay. curvy towards the bottom okay yeah, yeah. then there's this one at me fanta mm -hmm. fanta mm -hmm. chupaya fanta mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what do we call that is that an hourglass I think yes, so. I think it's an hourglass shape. So it's basically your your upper body and your lower body are well balanced and you have like a tiny waist. So wear clothes that would like fitting uh, towards the top and fitting towards the down uh, the the lower body. In that way, we can yes, we can see how well endowed you are. Ah, yeah. okay. So patterns. Mm -hmm. Let's come to patterns mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. patterns um, mm -hmm. shape. Yeah. And uh, and and body type yeah, go yeah, hand in yeah, hand. Yeah. How do we play around with patterns? Okay. I feel like if you wanted to make a statement piece on how you look, you'd go for the bold, for the bold, uh, uh, for the bold patterns. And if you don't want to to shout so much, you can really tone on the patterns. 
yeah I feel like this it doesn't play so much when it comes to the body shape but I feel like patterns will come to play when it has to do with like how do you want people to perceive you like what are you trying to communicate yeah but not so much on the body type but okay. rather like what like what statement are you trying to make I yeah. heard of um I heard of someone mm -hmm. there's a lady who was talking about uh, you see there are, there are patterns in the mm -hmm. and there are patterns that are crisscrossing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know if you share the same opinion, that's why I'm mm -hmm, asking, mm -hmm. because I had it. Mm -hmm, now, because mm -hmm. I have someone I can ask, okay, let me ask. Okay, mm -hmm. Someone was saying, mm -hmm. if you I think, if you're big, mm -hmm. in terms of like, you're, mm -hmm. you're huge, wear patterns that are in the yeah, like yeah, yeah, If yeah. you have to wear patterns, wear them, mm -hmm, because yeah. now, our eyes will be yeah moving up and down. If yeah. you're slender, yeah. wear patterns that right. crisscross yeah. because our eyes will be yeah, will so be dancing. Yeah. How true is that? It is true. It is true. Because imagine if someone who is big is wearing patterns that are crisscrossing, you just be concerned about oh my god, this person is big, <laughs> you know. But if you're wearing, we'd hardly notice how big you are if you're wearing patterns that are going. Is it horizontally? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. Does that also mean that someone mm -hmm. who's big mm -hmm. uh, should wear maxi? Where, 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 where does it? Okay, I'm asking mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. because I know she won't have a problem. My mm -hmm. sister is, is a mm -hmm. bit huge. Mm -hmm. And now she has narrowed down from wearing maxi because mm -hmm. she says mm -hmm. they make her feel bigger. Yeah. So she's now wearing fitting outfits. I feel like the bigger, uh -huh. the less the less are the fabric. Because I feel like okay. if you're big and you wear something that's too chunky, it okay. makes you look too big you know but if you're big at least wear you can wear wide legged pants but not too wide you can wear skirts but preferably straight ones because if you wear something that that has a lot of fabric there's already a lot going on it makes you look bigger yeah. how do you as a person mm -hmm. empower women mm -hmm. in the way they perceive themselves mm -hmm. using your brand okay make outfits that make them feel comfortable in their own skin and over and beyond that just reminding them of who they are created to be that it's it's it goes beyond how you look but who you are on the inside because basically what i believe my brand aims to promote is that you not only feel good on the outside but also on the inside yeah mm. so it's a win-win wow. you look we make you look good on the outside but even more on the inside have you ever found yourself in a place where mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. have you ever found yourself in a place where you had I don't know if I should call it a wardrobe malfunction. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How did that make you feel, especially being in the fas fashion area? Have I had a wardrobe malfunction? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. But I have, I have hired someone else uh -huh. on a wedding. Have a wardrobe wow. malfunction of all the days. <laughs> of all the days, and they were like a bridesmaid. And I have to go now, being a fashion designer, you always carry your kit with you, like the threads and the needles. So I had to like go help fix them. It's, it's the zipper that had like ripped apart. So you have to like go into the washroom and like try to stitch it up. But definitely the person is going to feel like conscious the whole day because they're like, what if someone else notices that mm. my zipper is ripped apart? Yeah, and I think that's what a good feeling really. Mm. Yeah. Amazing. Tell me how you came up with, your, with the name of your brand. Stones. Mm -hmm. It's a whole other story. <laughs> Please, by all means. I, I don't know if you've read uh, intensely through the Old Testament, but there are the two stones which the priest would have in his head. And anywhere or anytime they would want to know God's will, the stones would light up. So they were like the Urim and the Thummim. So that's how it came about because basically like the overview of what the brand represents it's supposed to be a brand that reveals god because mm -hmm. by revealing god that's the only other way you'd be able to promote healing and wholeness like i, I don't believe there's wholeness and healing outside mm -hmm. god mm -hmm. yeah what is the focus of um mm -hmm. what is your focus through fashion mm -hmm. for the society mm -hmm. for women mm -hmm. what really is your driving force I feel like for, for me, because of the journey I have gone through, for me, fashion is more of ministry, really, so that I can promote healing and wholeness to, to like the whole society. We deal with customs and ready to wear, specifically right now for like the ready to wear, we are doing women only. So oh. we know that when women put on our clothes, 
it gives her healing, it gives her comfort. And in turn, she's able to share this same comfort and healing with her peers, with her friends, with her family. And over and beyond that, the whole brand at large carries healing for the whole world. Ah, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what are some of the challenges you've experienced um, mm -hmm. while using fashion as a tool for empowerment? Mm. Some of the challenges you've gone through with your clients, with mm -hmm. business. I feel like the biggest um, challenge on my end has been pricing. Again, because I feel like our money, our money blueprint has a whole lot on how we see the world. It's likely that you, if you came from like a background of scarcity, you're likely to feel like if I charge a certain price, someone might not buy. For example, if you are not willing to spend like five thousand bob on a dress. You're willing to, uh, you're likely to feel that if I price this certain outfit at, at like 5,000, it's going to be so much for a client. But now it's like you're already speaking, speaking on their behalf, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, the biggest challenge for me has been pricing. The other thing has been last minute rushes with clients. Like a hey, client will order an outfit you can today. do as that thing. <laughs> I know, I know. So, like a client will place an order today and they expect it done by tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. Mm. You know, and I feel like the whole thing around fashion, how to, well, Mafundi, I don't know if Mafundi can really work well under pressure. Hey, Mafundi I, I highly cannot. doubt. Hey, let me tell you, Mafundi, Fundis yeah. can lie. Yeah. Yeah. If they're less. The fundi, whether they were gone, they were, they were, they were we are changing that narrative. Furniture. Anyone that is called a fundi. Yeah. yeah. Or go for those people. Or go for those people. Yeah. But I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, we are working on changing that narrative that when you hear of a tailor or a fashion designer, the first thing that comes to mind is not disappointment. Ah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Let me take a few comments before okay. we go back okay. to the discussion of okay. the day. Okay. We are asking um, on our social media handles, Jay Unatumia, Aja Fashion to express confidence. Yako, how are you using fashion to express your confidence? And we are joined by hey, the fashion Mogul herself, and I'm telling you, Min Melan, we took on the image of Leo Nikona Vents, Zina Zina Nix, Plenia Kala. Call them today. Really. I am going to brag about that thing. Hey, you're all ready for me. If you're meeting me in the streets today, be ready for me. But then again, let me take our comments on our, our social media handles at Willie Bazu and Asema. Count me in. Thank you so much, Willie Robamwas and Asema. Good morning, Kirinya Ndakas. Well, the Kamba in me is almost coming out. And Ole Junior and Asema locked in Kama Kawaida way. Salam Zimfike Mamangu Angeline Kasiti Akiwa Kongoni so. Kosoki, Matunda Moist Bridge, okay. Mama umetumiwa salamu. Rintoni anasema na wacheki. Nikiwa chalani kahoeni. Kilifi County, okay. Thank you so much. Waskalebi anasema. Good morning. Well, listening from Kisi, Nyachanwa. Eh? Guys, iyo, iyo. Yeah, that one. Massive. I... Takdika Kopa anasema good morning from Mombasa Pwani. Mark D anasema Chania Rwamba Nyeri is well represented. Dennis Nyongesa anasema good morning too. Hapa ni kiwa na mwesi in Bungoma County. Niko live pamoja hadi tamati. Thank you very much Dennis. Henry anasema good morning from Shika Adabu. Okay, all right. Good morning. Kizito Nyongesa anasema watching from Mwanda, Bungoma County. Then Triza Noni Anasema, good morning, listening from Riabai Wanoni Salon. Then Hilary Hila Anasema, Vihiga watching Y in the morning, thank you very much. And Ikena Anasema, today I miss your show. Job Manenos, it is well. We will see you next week. Andy, thank you very much for saying hi to us. Enrico Vidal Anasema, good morning. Good morning, Oscar Saziru. Anasema huku kama kakamega ampatikani. Uh, no, we are live everywhere. Nasai kwanza tuna live stream on our YouTube channel at Y254 channel. So please, there is no reason to say how to own it anywhere. You are seeing us on your screen. You are seeing us on live. That is on our YouTube channel on Y254 channel. So please go ahead, like, subscribe our channel, and then u comment. Then... Kukona Bay, hey, easy if it was a like, subscribe and comment, ni kama it's not my thing, but now what? 
Bedi Asli anasema watching from Macha. Joshua Mulindo anasema watching out of my yuga. Thank you very much. Eh, Okinyo anasema pamoja. Appetizer anasema Lurende tuned in kama kawa. JJ anasema Mombasani present. Vincent Ogutu anasema locked. John Tex anasema mark me present. Selector anasema locked from Ibubi Reggae family. Okay. Kennedy saying good morning. Shane anasema ongata rongai watching. Eh, Sheryl anasema morning to Kevin anasema good morning. Vibes anasema good morning. Appetizer anasema in. Rin anasema I am Rin Shio watching live from Embu. Na show ikolit sana na mnakamua. Thank you. Funk anasema kawa kawa locked from Sigol West Pokot. Aki mnacheza mna food evil. You are looking good and presses. Oh, at cheze food. Please, we were having fun. We were not playing with food. Yeah, we were having fun. That's Wednesday for you. Tinda Tembe, anasema good morning from Kitale. Shinyabi, anasema Kisumu City. Good morning, uh, babe girls. Uh, team, anasema streaming from live Kitale. Then there's Lydia saying present. Vincent is saying hi. Ramsey, anasema good morning. Oh my God, the love is too much. Guys, let me take a few more. Then we continue with the discussion. Denmark is saying Oyaro Estate Ndai. Willy Bazui saying good morning from Kitale. Jamal anasema kakamega following Mato anasema good morning. Nanja Kululu anasema kakamega present. Kush Dush anasema eh, ask girl kids we don't do fashion. Oh my good lord. Okay. Lakini yo kitu mna kwanga mevai kwangi fashion. Okay. Wacha ni siendeleze violence. Finally, Willy Bazu anasema streaming from Kitale. And then Jarich anasema in. And finally, Abu Jesh anasema from Eldama Ravine. And every other person that has been sending us comments and uh, sending us um, likes. Izo vitu zota zanya mekwa mkitutumia salamu. Everything, we really appreciate it. Keep it still. Y254 across our social media handles. Conversation, Hija Isha. We are still asking, how are you using fashion to express your confidence? So let me ask you this question. Mm -hmm. Now back to our discussion. Okay. How do you... Um, balance we, we we are in a we are in a season where mm -hmm. fashion keeps changing actually not fashion trends exactly. keep changing yeah. changing yeah. today we are on this kesho to go on that Ki, uh, there was a day that uh, this what we call this pencil yeah. trousers yeah. na pipes yeah. were the thing now yeah. naona palazzo okay. have come yeah. we are going wide legged yeah. we, we we keep moving so yeah. how are you able to stay to stay on top of the trends while producing garments Mm, fashionable pieces okay so one thing yes fashion is really circular because like from the belly bottoms now they are back in fashion again mm -hmm. wide uh, wide outfits that were like the thing in the 1980s or so now are back again but i feel like the thing with creating especially if you're a fashion designer is create a garment that will outlive the trend yeah ah yeah okay so mm -hmm. if you were to predict mm -hmm. Where is fashion moving to in the future? Okay. There's a lot of, first of all, there's a lot of talk around sustainable fashion. And where we are headed towards is a lot of brands are coming up uh, with the aim of creating uh, fashion brands that are eco-friendly. So that's one thing we are going to be seeing a lot of sustainability in fashion. And that entails reducing a lot of waste. And also technology has now become like a huge a uh, key player when it comes to fashion because we can see a lot of smart clothes, tech integrated clothes. We can see the rise of AI in fashion illustration. So yeah, there's a lot of tech at play and eco-friendly brands coming up. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. So how do you ensure sustainability for your fashion brand? What I have started doing is, I, I keep a lot of swatches. I don't know if there's like uh, a vein that attaches a designer's heart and every little cloth that you cut because mm. we always hold, hold on to the fabric, like even the tiny pieces, it's so hard to throw them away. But now the thing is, how about upcycling that waste and turning it into like a whole garment? So I have started doing belts, like corset belts that, like with the swatches that are left over. Mm. Yes, that's something. There are a lot of things that you can upcycle and make a whole other outfit out of it to reduce waste. Ah, yeah. amazing. And you, mm -hmm. uh -huh. 
and you know like using like cotton or like fabrics you can follow up and trace this is like you can trace the this is where this fabric came from and you can you can trace you can literally trace this is where it's coming from the person who made it was not over exploited because that's a thing especially with fast fashion in any fast fashion there's a lot of waste that comes from fast fashion and there's a lot of uh what is it exploitation of like the workers because it's a lot of mass production so yeah mm -hmm. if you can trace back and be able to follow so this is where it came from and this is like the end product yes it would yeah Ah, amazing. So mm -hmm. I know we started from uh, mm -hmm. what fashion means is, to yeah. a woman mm -hmm. or rather what fashion is to a lady. Mm -hmm. How do you think fashion shapes the esteem of a woman and her confidence? Again, because... Okay. Uh -huh, mm -hmm. We started off the conversation yeah, from yeah, what yeah, fashion yeah, means yeah. and all that. Yeah. So um, um, I just want to know from your opinion, mm -hmm. how do you think fashion influences, rather affects yeah. the way a woman perceives herself, so, her self-esteem, yeah, her yeah. confidence, etc., etc.? Okay. There's, there's a whole lot, like about, if, uh, about garments and how they make one person feel. If you wear clothes that fit well you're likely mm. to feel good about yourself mm. if you were if you wore a color like red and the vibe you get off red is boss lady it's very easy for that woman to feel confident so how fashion uh, helps a woman in her self-esteem is basically being keen on choosing first of all what fits well for you what what color it is and what mood you like what mood a certain outfit gives off yeah. Ah, yeah. okay, okay. So, if you met today, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you met a woman, what are you to me? If yes. today you met a woman mm -hmm. like me, mm -hmm. well dressed, mm -hmm. looking pretty, mm -hmm. beautiful, fashion wise, mm -hmm. they are okay. Mm -hmm. But then there's just that part of them that is not confident yeah. to step out and exude mm -hmm. the confidence. There's that. There's a way someone dresses and you yeah. feel they look nice, they but there's nice. a punch they give it with their personality yeah, yeah. and it's not coming forth. Yeah. What will you do? Pardon? You see the way you're dressed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's a way, there's a way, especially when you look, this comes, this, I'm, I'm asking this as a follow-up mm -hmm, question to mm -hmm. the confidence and esteem yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. So, there's a way you meet me, mm -hmm. like today, yeah. when, you, when you meet me, size yeah. yeah. or yeah, anything, yeah. Uh, and um, you feel I look nice, yeah. you feel the outfit looks nice, mm -hmm. you feel my entire look actually mm -hmm. is okay, mm -hmm. but I am not giving it the punch it I deserves. ought to in yeah. terms of confidence. Yeah. What would you do? I feel like that would go back to the person, like who they are themselves, because I feel like over and beyond you looking good, there's something deeper, you know, and mm -hmm. probably that's what needs addressing. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Like over and beyond just how you look, looking deep, deeper within. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you found yourself mm -hmm. in um, with a client? Mm -hmm. Because I know you deal with mm -hmm. a lot of clients. Mm -hmm. Have you found yourself with a client mm -hmm. that was not very confident in 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 um, putting on a certain piece, okay. yeah. and you really want and you really uh, cheered them on mm -hmm. to to step out and do a certain trend that was not their style? Yeah. yeah. How do that? How did that play out? I feel like one of the things you can actually do, even by looking at them, like even from like seeing the different body shapes and all that, mm -hmm. is look what, like look at them and know this is what you can use as your power, and then talking them through that to making them believe that you can actually use this. There's something mm -hmm. about you, despite how you feel about you, there's something about you that. Yeah, like you have power, like you can use as power. Yeah, like just like yesterday, yesterday there's a lady who was telling me uh, she doesn't feel good in a lot of straight and fitted, fit, fitted outfits, sorry. And I was like, because I have seen her, and I was like, okay, maybe that's an insecurity that coming f that's coming from deep within. And I'm like, but no, I know you. I think you would actually look really good because I feel like we tend to see ourselves differently. And if we mm. can just have someone else who will speak into us who we really are, yes, that will really take us to the next level. So in your opinion, mm -hmm. what is the most important aspect of fashion mm -hmm. um, that comes 
to making a woman feel empowered? Wine, again, the color. Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what I was saying. Like, if you wore, like, a red color or a bold color, you're likely to feel more powerful. Mm -hmm. If you wore uh, garments that fit well, you're likely to feel, and not fit well in that, okay, she's wearing a uh, hipster or bad clothes that really fit well to your body type, you know, you're likely to feel more confident in that. If you wore patterns that know that that you know make you feel bold you're likely to feel more confident about yourself if you wore what else would you wear but yeah basically color uh, garments that fit well the color psychology playing around with the whole thing around color psychology yeah ah, yeah okay what 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 um mm -hmm. what is Okay, before I ask you this, mm -hmm. let me ask you a follow-up question okay. of um, one of the challenges you've said mm -hmm. you're facing mm -hmm. in the company, mm -hmm. that is pricing. Yeah, yeah. And um, what to, how to attach a price tag to different pieces Clip of pieces, fashion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I want to ask you, mm -hmm. um, how do you mm -hmm. balance mm -hmm. between pricing mm -hmm. and uh, affordability mm -hmm. and ensuring that women get uh, value yeah, for, for, money. for the money that they're offering? Okay. I feel like the biggest thing I've had to learn on the job is market segmentation, you know. For example, like the brand, the clothing line we recently launched is called Manukato and it's like a luxury brand. Mm -hmm. But in as much as there's a luxury brand which you expect to have like high prices, we also do customs. So knowing that customs, like how it comes in is that every person has to be able to afford what we offer. So basically, it's market segmentation, knowing that for this, for this outfit, if it's luxury, this is how much I would price for luxury because mm -hmm. there are people who are willing to pay for luxury. And if it's custom and you want it available to every person, then it can't be priced the same as what you're off offering for luxury. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What what you're currently wearing is it one in, in in a piece in the line of manukato or it's it, different. It's, it's, it, it's different. I it's think different. this is more custom because like there are the pieces that are on manukato right now. Yes, this is not part of them, but this is something I have made, but not in the line of manukato. Mm, yeah. Why manukato? Why why the name manukato? Manukato. I know what Manukato yes, means. means. <laughs> I, I'm like, why? Of all the names, Manukato, why? A lot of times when you're wearing a really good scent, it's, it's very likely that someone would even like, that will be like a conversation starter. Like if you have like a really good scent, someone, is, uh, someone will stop you and, and ask like, what, what scent are you wearing? That becomes a conversation starter. And you can know who is coming in from afar just by like the scent, like when they're on the way, you can just feel there, you mm -hmm. can just smell them in the air. So that's the thing for Manukato, that when someone sees you, you draw, like the whole aspect of Manukato is drawing. Ah, yeah. amazing. Yeah. What is the most empowering mm -hmm. piece, mm -hmm. either of accessory mm -hmm. or clothing mm -hmm. in your closet right now, and why? Hmm. <laughs> I know that's a tough one. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see that coming. I think it's the Shiba dress. Okay. It's, it's, it's a piece of Manukaito. I think it's a very, very beautiful piece. It's, yes, I don't know why, but there's just beauty that oozes from Shiba. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh -huh. okay. yeah. Now, you as a person, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what's that one thing you can't step out of the house without? My perfume. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, mm -hmm. perfume. Mm -hmm. What's that one piece of accessory mm -hmm. in terms of um, mm -hmm. jewelry, anything mm -hmm. accessory mm -hmm. related, mm -hmm. can't you do without? Earrings. I, I really <laughs> love earrings. Yes. I really love earrings. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Why do you feel like, um, now I'm taking you back to the mm -hmm. Shiba dress, why mm -hmm. do you feel like it's the most empowering um, piece you have? Because it... It looks good across all body shapes. I have seen bigger people than me put it on and they look absolutely stunning. I have seen myself in it and yeah, I look equally <laughs> beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah that's why. Because I think it's an, it's an outfit and a piece that's created for people across all body shapes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. 
what are some of the um, common myths mm -hmm. and misconceptions you've encountered in the mm -hmm. fashion world? Hmm. Myths and misconceptions, mm -hmm. let me think. <laughs> there are people who think mm -hmm. Uh, looking good or I don't know why every person thinks that when you hear fashion it has to be extra but you can just look nice and well put together like with the f I feel like the uh, preconception people have when they think of fashion is I have to be extra no you don't mm -hmm. have to be extra to be fashionable mm -hmm. yeah and expensive and expensive yeah <laughs> yeah you know let me tell you if you like to it's, I don't know, there's someone we were having a conversation mm -hmm. here the mm -hmm. other day mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. Luku, and someone was like, hey, Mimi, snap a second, my mom, woke up my And I was like, does fashion really mean I need to have it money? It doesn't have to be expensive. Does it mean that I need to buy a brands from, mm -mm. I don't want to name brands, yeah, but you yeah, know, the yeah. who's, who's brands? Yeah, yeah, I know. What? And I was like, okay, you can wear something at 200. That looks good and it doesn't have to be as pricey. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. Where do you see the fuchsia? The where can you see my fuchsia? <laughs> mm -hmm. Guys, my sisters have come for me today. <laughs> okay, Stefana, say why this But anyway, as, as we almost come to an end of this conversation, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where do you see the future of fashion? Again, I'll go back to sustainability uh -huh. and the tech integrated clothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of smart clothes that are coming up. I feel like uh, also as we move on with technology, we are probably going to see from sketching with like pencil and paper into now like a lot. It has even begun mm -hmm. like with a lot of AI uh, fashion illustration. Yeah, basically that. I think that's all I can think of. Yeah. What impact do you think social media has had mm -hmm. on fashion? Mm -hmm. I think social media has had, has had a huge impact because like right now, even when we think of marketing, the first tool we think of is using social media because if you have the numbers, you can be rest assured you're going to have the, yeah, the influence. Yeah. Ah, amazing. Yeah. How do you, as a company, mm -hmm. ensure that... Um, the issue of mm -hmm. empowerment mm -hmm. reaches your clients, especially through, especially through the brands, mm -hmm. the outfits, the mm -hmm. accessories you mm -hmm. give them? I think over and beyond offering just garments, mm. but also making it, like creating a relationship mm -hmm. with a client, mm -hmm. you're able to I feel like you're able to achieve more empowerment if you had more of a cordial personal relationship with your clients because that way if someone you, you're able to see people through their journeys if someone when they started being a client to you didn't feel comfortable about their body so imagine mm -hmm. if they did like a one-off buy from you and they never came again but following up in retaining them as a client and working with them through their journey yeah, Amazing. so that, that, that would also mean, mean like the whole thing around healing and wholeness is not just a thing we are putting out there as something we do as a brand, but the follow-up journey with knowing I have worked with this client, this is how they felt when mm -hmm. they came to me about their body, and this is how they feel presently mm -hmm. about their body because I have worked the journey with them. Amazing. Yeah. As we now wind up, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what advice Mm -hmm. would you give to young women, young girls that would want to use fashion as a means of portraying their personality, mm -hmm. their confidence, yeah. who they are? First of all, be really... You can use that camera. First of all, be confident about who you are. If God has called you for it, for anything, then you can be rest assured that he has qualified you for it. Yeah. Be confident about you are, who you are, basically. Have yeah. you collaborated with other designers? Uh, currently, not yet. Uh, yeah. Do you look forward to Yes, I do look forward to Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I asked you mm -hmm. that question. Yeah. No, I, I, I have remembered because it's a question I really liked asking mm -hmm. women. Mm -hmm. I, there, was a, there was a segment I used to do mm -hmm. called Strength of a Woman, and mm -hmm. I would ask, mm -hmm. what are the five things? I know I asked you what mm -hmm. fashion accessory can't you mm -hmm. leave the house mm -hmm. without. Mm -hmm. Now I want to ask you a final question mm -hmm. on 
what are the five things mm -hmm. you can't leave the house without? The five things? Yes. Definitely my phone, uh -huh. <laughs> my earrings, my perfume. What else? They add up to three. <laughs> They're not five. <laughs> They're not five. Let me see. I think those are my top. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. On the road, are you a tiger or a cheetah? A tiger. Oh, you love speed. <laughs> Okay, finally, mm -hmm. I need to call finally. Nikki, come and pass us. Pass us. Have finally until you wonder. I pass it. Since we're not Maliza, okay. <laughs> so finally, mm -hmm. have you ever? This is a personal question. Yeah. You don't have to answer okay. if you don't okay. feel comfortable. Okay. But have you ever been in a place where someone picked on you mm -hmm. in terms of one body shaming mm -hmm. or two on your fashion sense? I think a lot of times it's been body shaming uh -huh. and. They might not know it when they are doing it, but I feel like for the last, like, you know, for the last two years, I have lost a significant amount of weight and not because there were, like, big things happening and in the journey to try, like, gain back weight, it's not working. I think gaining weight is, like, the biggest thing. And every time someone will be <laughs> like... <laughs> you should ask me how I'm looking at losing. I'll see you after the interview. <laughs> yeah, so, like, I feel like a lot of times it's been A... Nasi ukule. You know, and it's not like you're not eating. Hey, nasi. So, yeah, I feel like a huge part has been the body shaming, yeah, in the aspect ah. of hey, why can't you be thicker? Why can't you just, like, gain mass? I'm also mm. trying. Ah. Yeah, it's not How work. does that make you feel? I'm so sorry. I think I'm also really confident about myself in my mm. skin. So, niko mm. sawa. Like, it's not a big deal per se. Mm. Yeah. What would you want your brand to be remembered for? that it carried healing for the women and the men of the world. Amazing. Yeah. So you can tell us where we can find you on social media? Okay. On social media, my fashion brand's name is Shop Two Stones. And my, okay, on social media, my personal, uh, my fashion brand name is Shop Two Stones and my personal handle is dy underscore bold and Munyoli Mwende on, on Facebook, on TikTok, yeah. Mm, yeah. Amazing. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for having me. Thank you me. for your time. Thank you. Thank you for teaching me one or two. I can't stop looking at my hand okay. now. Now, like, I think I have learned something that I want to brag around okay. about. Okay. But anyway, thank you for giving us tidbits here and there about okay. fashion. Yeah. Some of us are too to Najwa, which is to Mejua. Others have been empowered. Yeah. Have, others have been educated, yeah. entertained wholesomely in yeah. every angle. We really appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. Karibu. Okay. Hey, where? Kama ujui and Atoniako, please see me behind the scenes. I have become a pro guru. Ni chaniyamaze. Where? Iye ndo ile siku yenye unasebanga hivyo. Alafu unatoka hapa nje. Ato kumbuki uliambiwa nini. Eh? Yeah, and then when you uliji ringa ukaji dying. But anyway, that has been it from us here at Y in the morning. My name is Grace Maingi. It has been a pleasure. Please do enjoy the rest of your viewing. Have a lovely day. God bless you.